Let's get to Bob Bassani and see what else is moving. Morning, Bob. Happy Monday, uh, Carl. Uh, it's a week open, and we tend to follow bond yields these days. So what were we, 173 on the 10-year on Friday, 1.68 today? I can almost guarantee you the markets are going to be weaker. And guess what's leading on the downside? Bank stocks. The KBE, this is the lowest level since, so go back to late May. For the bank index, retail, industrial, energy, these are all trade-related to the downside. Materials also down. Uh, utilities, naturally, are uh, on the upside. Uh, if you take a look at what's really been going on, it's not a good third quarter, but it's never a good third quarter. This is just the problem with the third quarters. We say this all the time. August and September are just really rough times for the market. So we were up 13 percent in the first quarter, 4 percent in the second quarter. Up quarters are not, this is a lot, but up quarters are common. It's typical for the third quarter to be down. We're only down 1 percent so far. Nothing unusual going on here. Imagine if we didn't have the tariff issue. We'd be bucking the trend. It's just the third quarter historically is difficult. My old buddy Sam Stovall was out over the weekend, a lot of notes looking at the history of the third quarter. Typically, it's higher volatility. That's what we're seeing. It's the weakest average price gains. If you get any at all, that's what we're seeing. We're down here. And it's the lowest frequency of gains. We're not getting any at all there. So there's nothing unusual. And again, if we didn't have these tariffs, we'd be bucking the historical trends and likely be on the upside. What worries me is the earnings pictures. A Trader Talk note out on this uh, this morning. You can see it at TraderTalk.CNBC.com. But uh, if you look at what's going on with some of these big uh, sectors, uh, the numbers are coming down fast. I've described 2019 as flattish. That means up maybe one, two points, something like that. But look at this. July 1st for energy, up thir down 13 percent. Just a few weeks later, we're down 21 percent. That's a lot. That's a very significant deceleration that we're seeing. Same thing with some of the industrial names here. We were up, supposed to be up 6 percent. This is the third quarter numbers estimates. Today, it's less than 2 percent. That's a lot to come down. And most of this has just been in the last few weeks. Similar situation. Technology has been coming down to all of the big global trade related stuff has been coming down. Here's another sector that worries me, the retailers. And I don't just mean the department stores. They've been a mess for a long time for a lot of reasons specialty retailers. So you're looking at you're looking at Gap or Foot Locker or L Brands, those kinds of things. A lot of the apparel makers. July 1st, we were up 8.7 percent on for the third quarter estimates. Now we're negative. And this, again, is all is mostly related to uh, China and trade issues. And if you look at some of the typical names here, PVH, this is for the quarter, these names. The, I'm talking about prices here coming down. L Brands, Gap down 9 percent, Chico's. This is that whole sector here. We all know about what the department stores are doing, what a disaster they are. But now we're starting to see the specialty apparel stores really hit rather badly. So my point is that I've gone from things are going to be flattish and let's not worry so much in 2019 to the numbers have just started coming down in the sectors you want to watch, in the industrial space, in the energy space, big retail space. These are signs that the bottoms up analysts are not as confident in the second half of the year as they used to be. And that's a sign that tariffs are really starting to worm their way into the psyche of the people who actually guess where the earnings numbers are going to go. And that's what really moves the stock market.